the economy is not out there, it's between your ears. Explain that. That's exactly right. You know, some people worry about things that is ridiculous. There's nothing we can do about the economy out there. But there's a whole lot you can do about the economy right here in your own mind. What are your plans? How much harder are you willing to work to continue your style of living that you've grown accustomed to here in the land of the free and the home of the brave, which is the greatest nation in the history of the world? I'm convinced of that. We are so fortunate, and yet sometimes we don't acknowledge how God has blessed this nation and the citizens in it. And we've got some of the military here in the office today, and we really are so grateful for what they're willing to do. we'd like to show you because uh, Dad always likes to put the important things in perspective. So let's, let's look at that vintage clip real quickly, please. We want to share with you how do you get more of the things that money will buy. Now, money is not the most important thing in life, but it's reasonably close to oxygen. Uh, I mean, you know, when you need it, you really need it. And people who say that I'm interested in money are going to lie about other things, too. And then there's so many people who don't understand it, the basics of it. They talk about cold, hard cash, which is ridiculous. It's neither cold nor hard. It's soft and warm. And ladies, it is so beautifully colored. This will go with anything you happen to be wearing. And the more of it you have, the further you go. Okay, now, having said all of that, we want to look at more of the things that money will buy, but all of the things money won't buy. So you can get anything money buys without a lick of character. You can't get anything money won't buy without character. So what we want to do is find out how do you get both of them put together. I like what money buys. I like to wear nice clothes, drive a nice car, live in a nice house, take that beautiful red-headed wife of mine out to nice dinner places and vacations. I like all of those things. I like to play golf at the country club. And every one of those things costs money. But I love what money won't buy. Money bought me a really nice house. Actually, it bought me two nice houses. But it won't buy me a home. It'll buy me a companion, but it won't buy me a friend. It'll buy me a good time, but it won't buy me peace of mind. It'll buy me a bed, but it won't buy me a good night's sleep. Those are the things I love. And I'm so grateful to be able to say I've got many of the things money will buy, but all of the things that money won't buy. And here's one of those economies of life. The more the things you have that money won't buy, will it enable you to get more of the things that money will buy? Reduces stress, conflict, and a lot of other things as well. Let's, let's talk about where you got your character from, Dad. Because I know you've got the things that money won't buy, but you had to build that on that foundation of character. I believe your mom was a big influence there. Uh, my mother, with a fifth grade education, was one of the wisest people I've ever met. I was raised on things that she taught me. One of her favorite was, and she repeated it regularly, tell the truth and tell it ever. Cost it what it will. For he who hides the wrong he did does the wrong thing still. And if your word is no good, eventually people will find out that you're no good. I believe truth is always in vogue if we make it the thing that we're always going to do, the right thing in the right way. Not only out in the community, but that home court advantage is so important where you do the right thing. You know, us men, we court the girls real good until we get them to say yes. And then tragically, some men quit courting after marriage. I'm convinced beyond any doubt that many divorces are caused simply because the man did not continue and sometimes the women don't continue the courtship prospect. 
I believe we got to have a home court advantage by doing the right thing in the right way, not only before we get married, but always after we're married. I believe that is very, very critically important to success, happiness, including each area of their life. How many years have you been married, Dad? Uh, only 62, but you really better do it doesn't feel like over 61. <laughs> now, I know that a lot of people here are aware that you call Mama the redhead. That's right. Uh, her, her name is Sugar Baby. I mean, her name is her name is Jean, but she doesn't recognize that name because all I've ever called her is Sugar Baby. Uh, she's still the prettiest girl I've ever known or ever will know, and uh, she's my American Express card, as I might already have said. And she's in the audience right yeah. now. Sugar Baby, you want to stand up? So, uh, so right over there. decided redhead. I mean, one day she just decided uh, she's going to be a redhead. And, uh, she, uh, she made a deal with her uh, lady that takes care of her hair. She said, look, you keep, and, and you already heard, heard me say she's a redhead. Right? Uh, and she said, if you'll keep me in the red, I'll help keep you in the black. <laughs> and it's worked out real good. <laughs> Dad, one of the questions people want to know uh, is, how old are you now? Uh, 82, but just barely. <laughs> and I don't feel a day over 81, I really don't. And then, then they want to know if you have any plans for retirement. Retirement? First time I read it in the Bible, maybe I'll start making plans for it. But until then, man, I'm not going to ease up, let up, shut up, or get up until I'm taken up. Matter of fact, I'm just getting warmed up. because I believe it's so important. You can have everything in life you want if you will just help enough other people get what they want. The more people you help, the more you're helping yourself. No question about it. What is it that you say about gratitude? Gratitude, according to the psychologist, is the healthiest of human emotions. I have, and I want to get, encourage you to do the same thing. Oh, wait, before you start, could we please roll the clip on the wall of gratitude while Dad talks about it? Go ahead and talk about okay. it, Daddy. Uh, nobody who ever really accomplishes a great deal did it by themselves. They had parents, they had a boss, they had a teacher, they had a professor, they had somebody that encouraged them and convinced them that you can do some great things if you will do the right things because you've got the ability, you've got the talent, when you put it to work properly. And uh, I was fortunate. Uh, my mother always taught us children, tell the truth, tell it ever. Costeth what it will, for who hides the wrong he did does the wrong thing still. But when you do everything with truth, you'll sleep better at night and make more progress in the community because trust is so incredibly, so incredibly important. If you can build trust in every area of your life, you have a career that would be absolutely magnificent. Okay, Dad, and so y'all got the idea. He gets an 8 by 10 photograph of the people who have really influenced his life, and he puts it on his wall as a way to remember those who have helped him get to where he is. And you can do the same thing, and he highly recommends the that you do do that. Now your mother is one of the people on that wall of gratitude. She had a fifth grade education. She did allow you to go to work at Mr. John R. Anderson's grocery store. Tell us about that. Uh, Mr. Anderson uh, owned a, a Piggly Wiggly grocery store and he was my first boss. And Mr. Anderson uh, had been a former teacher and he taught me